Before this video starts, I'd just like to make an announcement. I have the Liberal Tears mug uh, for $14.99 on my website. It is the first link in the description if you want to go pick one up. Um, don't worry if it breaks when it comes to your house. I'll send you another one for free out of my pocket. I don't care. I want you to get your Liberal Tear mug. Uh, it comes in uh, Liberal Tears white with the face, black with the face, white without the face, and black without the face. So pick whichever one you want, and it'll come to your door uh, in about three to five days. So that should be epic. First thing in the description, thank you. Let's go on with the video. Again, is that Rachel Dolezal, you remember Rachel Dolezal, she was my favorite story of last year. I talked about her a fair bit last year because she was a fantastic story. She was the head of the local NAACP chapter talking about white privilege, and it turns out she was a white lady. And she said she was black while holding a leadership position with the local NAACP, and then she was exposed, and uh, now it turns out that she is, uh, she is homeless. So she, uh, according to The Guardian, today Dolezal is jobless and feeding her family with food stamps. Awesome. A friend helped her pay this month's rent. Next month she expects to be homeless. She has applied for more than 100 jobs. No one will hire her, not even to stack supermarket shelves. She applied for a position at the university where she used to teach. Says she was interviewed by former colleagues who pretended to have no recollection of having met her. The only work she has been offered is reality TV and porn. She has changed her name on all her legal documents, but is still recognized wherever she goes. People point at her and laugh. She wrote a memoir, but it was rejected by 30 publishers before finally being picked up. And she said that the narrative was that I had offended both communities in an unforgivable way. And to, she said... Uh, She's perceived as a liar and a fraud and a con. I think that it is amazing that the country will give everybody a second chance, except for the lady who said that she was black. Second of all, if she had... Okay, let's put it this way. White woman says she's a black woman, but is actually a white woman. She loses her job. She loses her career. She's seen as a crazy person. No one will hire her. She's homeless and on food stamps. If a white woman said she was a black man or a white man, then we presumably say she's a hero. And we give her a reality TV show, and we say that she actually is a man, right? So if she said, if Rachel Dolezal had, instead of saying she was a black woman, said that she was a white man, we would all have said, you know what? She is the greatest hero of our lifetimes. She is just somebody we ought to honor. Every day, we ought to honor Rachel Dolezal because she is a hero. Not only is she a hero, she's a he. She's a he. But if she says she's black, then that we can't take seriously because, come on, that's silly. It's just silly for her to say she's black, but it's totally not silly for her to say she's a man. This is ridiculous in a wide variety of ways. Men and women are much more genetically different than black people and white people. A race is far more malleable genetically, and the boundaries are far fuzzier genetically than the boundaries between male and female. And yet, as a society, we have decided that if a man is now a woman, then he ought to be treated as a woman. And if a woman says she's a man, then she ought to be treated as a man. But if a white person says he's a black person or a black person says he's a white person, that's crazy and out of their mind. And she must be a nut job, put her on food stamps and homelessness. Okay, that just demonstrates the sickness that has pervaded our culture, because that's really stupid, and it's really, it's really messed up. Right? She's being called a nut job. Meanwhile, a transgender boy, right, meaning a girl who thinks she's a boy down in Texas, has been taking testosterone because she wants to become a boy, which she can't because she's a girl, and then wrestling the other girls, and she won the state title in wrestling because she's a girl who's on hormones. She's on testosterone. She's basically taking steroids. So a girl taking steroids wins the state title in wrestling, and the left declares her a hero. But if she had had presumably melanin injections and then said she was a black woman, we would have said that she's a crazy person, and we would have destroyed her career in life. All of which demonstrates there is no logic to the left whatsoever. It's all made up. It's all silly. It's all based on a d deep desire to maintain boundaries of race so that you can divide race from race, but also to get rid of all distinctions between male and female because those are not useful to their game, which is to claim that male and female are exactly the same for all intents and purposes, and therefore any sort of disparity between men and women must be created by societal discrimination. Right? That's the purpose of all that. I'm Ben Shapiro. This is The Ben Shapiro Show. here with some Trump protesters. What's your name, ma'am? Hi, my name is Georgia Schmitz. And what are you out here protesting? I'm protesting Donald Trump. And what is it about Donald Trump that motivated you to come out here and protest? Well, I think he's a dick and his running mate, Mike Pence, is a dick as well. Do you think we could maybe have a reason that's beside an ad hominem attack? I don't really like his views on um, immigration, uh, women's rights, and a lot of other things. So you don't like following the immigration law? You think we should get rid of laws on immigration? I'm pretty sure that what I mean is um, I don't like 
Donald Trump's very vague stance on immigration. Like, you know, two days ago, he took back his stance on immigration and spoke with a bunch Alex of, like, Jones like a con man. Alex Jones is a fucking hey, Alex Jones. interview. A little respect. Alex Jones is a con man, and he's crazy, and he thinks that a bunch of children in, um, what was it? Hey, what was that school shooting with all the kids? Sandy Hook. Yeah, he thinks that was he thinks that was made up. Okay, well now you've gone a different direction. You realize that the actual death records have indicated there were no deaths that day in uh, Sandy Hook. What do you think about that? Uh, I think that's kind of bullshit. I'm just telling you a fact. There have been uh, private investigations done into the matter, and they get stonewalled at every crevice. Donald Trump can lick my asshole. Do you want to talk, sir? All right, all right. What's your name, sir? My name's Riley. All right, Riley, why are you protesting Trump? I'm protesting because I think Donald Trump is a racist. Okay, as I just said to her, let's look for something beyond an ad hominem attack. Let's talk about policy. Okay, he doesn't really have any, have any policy. Well, that's completely false, actually. Now, hold on. See, this is an amazing argument. I see people saying that Donald Trump has no policy. Donald Trump has given more detailed policy plans than any other candidate. Tax reform, health care, school. He's done it all. Immigration. No other candidate has had a detailed, a detailed plan like this, but a joke. I, they continue to go to ad hominem attacks. So what else is wrong with Trump? I think Gigi Allen should be the president of the United States. I think we should all die. Thank you guys, you guys know that you're not helping your cause here. You're not either. I'm not here doing a cause. I'm here interviewing people. All right. I think that Donald Trump has really, really poor immigration reform ideas. His across-the-board taxes are. So you don't. So you don't want a border. Well, you actually didn't let me finish what I was saying. Well, let's stick to the immigration point, though. Are you saying you don't want a border or you don't want immigration yeah, laws? Actually, personally, I think that there should be, I think that immigration is a human right and that we should get rid of all borders. But what about, what about lawful immigration? Very, very far to the left. What about lawful immigration? I think that that's awesome. But that's what Donald Trump wants. Mm, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that his stance the last time I checked was that he wanted to what deport 11 illegal illegal immigrants and well, why don't you let this young woman talk okay you want to talk ma'am i think she probably understands these issues a lot better than i do okay well she's not protesting you're protesting so you must understand the issues well i would assume you painted your face out here i painted my face because i think that trump is a joke okay but you've really kind of had no real substantial reasons why yet um don't I? No. Thank you. Is that it? Um, Capitalism. Capitalism. How about you? You want to talk? She was willing to talk. I'm not picking on her. All right. Hey, thank you for your time. I'm not picking on you. I'm just asking everybody. You were willing to talk. Would you like to talk? Okay, well, don't sit here and say talk to someone else and then I offer you to talk and you don't talk. I'll talk to this guy who claims he knows Alex Jones. All right, thank you. Thank you. Since you're my boss, thank you. These guys are real good at ad hominem attacks. Are you, uh, what are you out here protesting? Uh, uh, like, uh, people who, whose head bob when they're scrambling. Their head bobs. You mean, what about like Hillary Clinton when she's talking and having a seizure? What do you think about that? I think that uh, she needs a skynapper. That's what I'm here promoting. So what are you here, selling products? No, promoting them. Because I live right here and you're making so much noise that I said, look, I'm trying to work and we're trying to promote a new product. So are you? So you're just promoting a product? No, but this is the world's best travel pillow. It holds your head up so it doesn't bob. I'm do you think, do you, you think, I'm a oh, you know what, why don't you, hey, you know what, jobs. hey, can you, talk about Hillary Clinton. let me do you a favor. I want you to make a sales pitch right now why Hillary Clinton needs this traveling pillow. Uh, so she won't be a head bobber. And, and clown, <laughs> she needs it because she's a, a clown over Alex here. Jones, a con man. Come here, sir. Why don't you do an interview? You keep running around saying that. He won't oh, talk to me. Can I do an interview while I'm interviewing you? Okay, sure. All right. Okay. I'm here with, what's your name? Owen Schroyer from Infowars.com. Why do you support Donald Trump? I support Donald Trump because he is bringing up real issues in this country. He's bringing real issues to the forefront that Americans have been trying to bring into the picture for a long time. Ill illegal immigration, uh, secret pages of 9-11 investigations, TPP. These are three things that were never covered. Exactly. The Trans-Pacific Partnership is a trade deal that... Is that like NAFTA? 
it's very much like NAFTA. It will reduce uh, basically American jobs values and American manufacturing values and ship that overseas just like we've been seeing in the last decade. I'm the crazy one here. I think that, no, no, sir, can I hold this? I think that Donald Trump is morally wrong. He might be a businessman, but I've seen many things that prove that he is a bigoted, xenophobic racist. And I don't think that bigoted, xenophobic racist should be in the White House anymore. What has he said that's bigoted and racist? He's, I can't quote anything right now because I'm not politically connected. Or... This is a protest. Hey, do you have anything to say? to say at all. Are you a professional percussionist? Do you just play the drum all day or do you protest? What do you do? Wow. This guy has a high level of intellect. Well, you know what? I guess, I guess this is better than someone coming up to me and cursing at me and calling me a racist. Why won't you comment? Why are you banging a drum? Is it hot out here? All right, this guy will provide me nothing. You want to move on? Hey, where's that? Hey, this guy. Hey, hey. Why is Alex Jones a jerk? Why is Alex Jones a jerk? He's a con man. What, has Alex Jones conned you? The frogs, dude, they're putting shit in the frogs and the frogs are gonna kill the police and oh! That's actually, oh. Scienti actually scientific research has showed that that's actually a fact, but that's fine the too. Frogs are gonna kill the I'm just curious, man, you're out here protesting. Hey, can you put your sign down? You're out here, I don't understand people that, I'm, I'm not in your face, calm down. I just don't understand people that come out here and protest and then, oh, look at that. Now you're a joke too. I just became an official Hillary Clinton supporter. I got my red nose on. All right, well, apparently they're not with Hillary. Right so here's the deal, folks. Here's the deal. I don't understand. We're not with anybody. We're here against you. I don't. Un you're against me? No, we're against Trump. You're oh, you're against Trump. Trump. Well, I like Trump. That's his nose. I don't want that. You can tell you that back. Here's what I don't understand. People who come out here to protest, and then you ask them what their protest is, why they're protesting, and then they won't talk to you. You would think if you're out here protesting, there is something driving you to do that. There's a motivational factor. And then when I give them a platform to talk about their issues, they completely ignore me. I get blown. I'm a, this is a clown. This guy, yeah, I do actually. Or do you have a clown degree? Did you go to clown school? I do. Wait, hey, that's official. So are you clowns against Trump? Yeah, yeah, we are. All right, we're here with clowns against Trump in downtown Austin. We got balloons, we got funny faces, we got red noses going around. We got very little facts. What have I spun? Uh, you spun this whole situation for yourself. I have reported everything I've seen. What have I spun? What? What did I spin? I think you spin, you're gonna take this and probably spin it, right? I, I, I'm asking you, how did I spin everything I've seen? How you're gonna do it, but you're probably going to. Yeah, you seem to not know anything. You don't know much about Trump, you don't know much about policies, you don't know much about spin. You're just out here with a red nose and face paint on, trying to draw some attention. Well, that's because most Americans have no idea about politics. And this is what we get, folks. When you live in a country where most people are completely ignorant, you got people out here so confused, they paint their faces like clowns and they protest against Trump. So that's what you get. Here we go. There we, hey, this is actually, I tell you what, I would take that over Hillary Clinton. This is Owen Schroyer for InfoWars.com. We were just talking to some of the anti-Trump clown protesters and others out here on the streets of Austin. Donald Trump will be live on Sean Hannity tonight. The Trump rally is in Austin. Media has been criticizing Trump for coming here. I think it was a great move for Donald Trump. Make America great again. Owen Schroyer for InfoWars.com. I'm just stopping by to remind you that liberals are insane. <laughs> Social justice warriors are becoming more violent and triggered 
than ever before. Anyway, be sure to subscribe to KGP TV on YouTube and have a blessed day. Yeah, man. Before this video starts, I'd just like to make an announcement. I have the Liberal Tears mug uh, for $14.99 on my website. It is the first link in the description if you want to go pick one up. Um, don't worry if it breaks when it comes to your house. I'll send you another one for free out of my pocket. I don't care. I want you to get your Liberal Tear mug. Uh, it comes in uh, Liberal Tears white with the face. Black. Feeding her family with food stamps. Awesome. A friend helped her pay this month's rent. Next month, she expects to be homeless. She has applied for more than 100 jobs. No one will hire her, not even to stack supermarket shelves. She applied for a position at the university where she used to teach. Says she was interviewed by former colleagues who pretended to have no recollection of having met her. The only work she has been offered is reality TV and porn. She has changed her name on all fantastic stories. She was the head of the local NAACP chapter talking about white privilege, and it turns out she was a white lady. And she said she was black while holding a leadership position with a local NAACP. And then she was exposed, and uh, now it turns out that she is uh, she is homeless. So she, uh, according to the Guardian, today Dolezal is jobless in all her legal documents, but is still recognized wherever she goes. People point at her and laugh. She wrote a memoir, but it was rejected by 30 publishers before finally being picked up. And she said that the narrative was that I had offended both communities in an unforgivable way. And to, she said. Uh, She's perceived as a liar and a fraud and a con. I think that it is amazing that the country will give everybody a second. With the face, white without the face, and black without the face. So pick whichever one you want, and it'll come to your door uh, in about three to five days. So that should be epic. First thing in the description, thank you. Let's go on with the video. Again, is that Rachel Dolezal, you remember Rachel Dolezal. She was my favorite story of last year. I talked about her a fair bit last year because she was a fantastic.